Hello everyone. So today we'll be learning how to create this beautiful nameplate. So first of all, we have mixed our resin with blue pearl pigment, blue metallic gel pigment, and with that we have created this beautiful blue pigment. And we'll pour it at the three four sides of our mold. The mold we are using is 12 by 16 silicone mold. And with that we have added some transparent resin with gold foil for the other half side. And this is the day 2 and today we will be placing our stickers. These are customized from our website tulsiresin.com. And with that we will be also placing a beautiful peacock feather at the side of our mold. So to stick the stickers you have to gently peel them off. and press it nicely from the edges like you have to press the sticker size so that sticker does stick well to the base similarly we'll stick all the three lines on the base and then we'll remove it gently the covering of the sticker would be removed you have to just gently pull it off Uh, the resin which we are using here is 3 is to 1 art epoxy resin from Tulsi resin store. You can find it on their website. Link is added on the description below. To get it more effect, we have also added some clusters. So these are ready clusters available at the website which we have used. And these are the white crystals are the mini crystals which I am using here. So we have added mini crystal to give it more texture to our nameplate and now it's time to mix our resin for a transparent coat over the top of all these crystal and our mold punk to seal the vinyl we really need to make a transparent resin top coat so for the top coating we have mixed 450 ml of resin and 150 ml of hardener this is the resin zin art epoxy resin and the ratio of 3 is to 1 similarly at the first layer also we have taken the same measurement and this is the another half of the mold which will be pouring completely transparent so we have to very gently spread the resin over the artwork at all the places we have to cover all the vinyl stickers crystals and everything so we'll pour it on the complete base after pouring our resin, we have to pop the bubbles and for pop popping up all the bubbles from the surface, we are using a blowtorch. You can even use an isopropyl alcohol spray to pop the bubbles. And after that, we have to cover it with the board so that there is no dust particles which goes inside the mold. So now we have on day 3. And we'll be demolding our nameplate from the silicone molds we have to pull it from all the edges and gently pull it from the mold so that our complete tray is out from the mold and now it's time to finish our resin nameplate there are sharp edges when we pour resin in the mold so we can use a debring tool to deburr it to give it a smooth finishing so i will be using our debring tool for all the four sides and you have to very carefully do it so that you does not spoil your nameplate. Just take the blade and debur it from all the sides. If you do not want to use the debring tool, you can just take it out from the mold and give it a top coat so that your edges become smooth. And to color the edges, we are using this metallic deco marker in golden color. So I'll be coloring the edges of my nameplate, just a top border. To give it a little more golden touch we'll be adding some golden color to the crystals as well a little bit to the mini crystal which we have used last but not the least we have to fix the hooks so that it is easy to hang and for that i'll be using a scale to measure down the measurements for our hanging hook using a scale and a marker marking the area where we have to put the hanging hook and after that we'll use an electric drill to drill the holes you have to be a really careful while drilling the hole you do not want to make a complete hole so that 
it comes out from the front end you have to very be precisely slow and you have to make a hole up to half of the mold like 5 to 6 mm big hole so that it's easy to fix your screws after making hole i will be using my screwdriver to fix the screws and it will be fixed and easy to hang to balance our nameplate on the surface on the wall we'll be using this silicone bubble bumpers so that when i place it on a wall it is balanced and does not fall off from the end so you have to just take out the stickers and stick them and that way our nameplate is completely ready hope you have liked this tutorial and for more such tutorials do subscribe our youtube channel thank you